Welcome back. It's Chris from the Hagen Factory. A uh, bit of a different setup this week. We're going to have two videos coming out. There'll be one today. Uh, it's on a mate's Pink Pig Honda 4 P4 classic outfit that he races. So that's a fair story. We went through it with him yesterday. So we'll get that out today. Uh, the next video will be on the 350 set on the gearbox. And we'll just continue with that build. And we need everybody to get together and get their entries in for the Shannon Classic bike at Broadford at Easter. Get your dirt track entries in. We really appreciate it. Pay up. Come along. Have a great time. You won't regret it. Uh, it's a great event every year. Uh, Rick Wason's put a link up on the Rumsey Grass Track site. Get on there. Sign up. And I'll see you there. <laughs>
Look, some interesting points, Bob. The late Bob Martin built it originally as a P5, which is a later period rear exit, converted back to front exit, which is already yeah. allowed in, in the P4. Um, Bob's no longer with us, unfortunately. It's got the top frame can be removed to get at the motor in and out. It's like a half hour job to swap motors. Yeah, that's great. Do you have another a spare motor for this one? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All about dollars. Yeah, of course, yeah. If you have a look at the handlebars, perhaps from behind or in yep. front, whichever, you'll notice the left-hand side's longer than the right. So that gives me more leverage, um, particularly in, 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 probably more so in right-handers, but it helps me pull the bike around the left and my co-pilot's out there uh, swinging us around as well. Uh, the engine was done by Mick DeWitt. Many will recognise his name. Uh, he's pretty fastidious with his engines. Uh, I think from memory it was dyno at about 109 at the rear wheel. Yeah, okay. Which is yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty good. When you think these things were about 68 stock, redlined at about eight and a half. This goes out to about 11, but I don't push it too hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, um, at my young age, it's more about enjoyment now than, you know, letting the red mist descend. Yeah. Although there's, there's a couple of other teams that we we tend to compete with, play around with. Uh, they're in a similar lane, similar age group. Okay. Um, so you've got a few events coming up. We've got Eddington Sprints next weekend on the 25th of March. Yes. Uh, the Vic Historics on the 1st and 2nd of April, which unfortunately I can't race at. We've got other commitments. We've got Winton in May, which is a combined historic car and bike meet. Uh, Southern Classics in November, I think relatively close to the nationals which are being held in the historic national cities being held in tasmania um great events held at broadford with the exception of winning um great circuit great camaraderie i think because everyone's running historic machines we're all looking out for each other yeah, particularly yeah, exactly. the si yep. sidecar fraternity we we really um, we do look after each other um and as I say in the crisp before, what's the link with Hagen? Well, I run a Hagen shop. <laughs> Tenuous link, I know, but um, there it is. Fantastic. Uh, it's a great looking bike. Oh. Now, who did the paint work on this one? Um, this has only been done, I picked this up just before Christmas. The paint work's done by Glenn at GQ Design here in Bendigo. Oh, Bendigo. yeah, I've used Glenn before, yep. Just like amazing talent i gave him him some pretty sketchy thoughts about what i wanted um again the pink for the pink pig the boar's head again the pig but the japanese samurai theme because it runs a japanese motor the police tape and rp with my brother robert peters 38 year veteran of victoria police yes yep um a little bit of whimsy there with the peeling paint suggesting that we go at light speed. <laughs> which what it feels like when you're on the bike. Oh, I'm sure it would. That low to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very go-kart like. That's it's fantastic. Fun. It's a great machine. Uh, and, you know, as they say, growing old is mandatory growing up. I'm not a open helmet. No, no, exactly. <laughs> well, I really appreciate your time today. It's fantastic. I know you've got a couple other projects on the go. We might come back one day and have a look at those. Yeah, and, the drives, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're sort of going to get around everybody <coughs> as much as we can. And we've got some T-shirts on the way too. So everyone who gets interviewed, we'll be getting a T-shirt. Good. So they shouldn't be too far away. My wife, Caroline, sorting all that out at the moment. Well done, so, Caroline. Yeah, we'll get that done for you. Um, yeah, we really appreciate it, mate. And good oh, luck with pleasure. the yeah. next few events. Yeah. And um, actually, I'll come along and I'll give you a hand. Good on you, mate. Fantastic. Welcome. Thank you. Righto, keep an eye out for the second video on the 350 Velo. Uh, we've done some work on the gearbox, as I said, so I'll show you all that. Uh, don't forget to put your entry in for Shannon Classic Bike for Broadford. Uh, the link's on the Rumsey Grass Track site. Get on there. Get paid up. I'll see you there. We'll have a great time. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, subscribing. If you like what you see... Keep watching. It's fantastic. I'm enjoying it. Uh, tell your friends. Tell everyone. Let's bring Hagen's back.